This is Max Williams with United Real Estate, and today I'm in Eastern Henrico. More specifically, I am at 6967 Boland Drive. Boland Drive is in the subdivision named Castleton. And if you're at all familiar with this area, Castleton is a larger subdivision. Uh, there are actually newer homes uh, that are going up as we speak, uh, several different sections. Uh, the particular home that we're going to look at today was built in 2015. And a couple claim to fames here for this home. Number one is it was selected as an award winner for the Parade of Homes back in 2015. If you remember from previous videos, the Parade of Homes is put on by the local Home Builders Association. And they go through uh, all of the communities that the builders work in and give awards. And this, uh, of course, is a stunning looking corner lot. Uh, my owners have definitely maintained that look here since 2015 and it looks just amazing. The other claim to fame to this home is it was a model home. And uh, my, <laughs> my uh, seller did something kind of interesting and fairly unusual. When she saw the home, she fell in love with it and she told the builder, I like it just the way it is. I want the furniture, I want the tables, I want the chairs, I want it all. And that's exactly what happened. She bought this home as a completely furnished and decorated home. Uh, pretty unusual, but she did it. And as a result, uh, I'm gonna tell you a little bit more about that situation here uh, as we go through. We've got a nice looking porch here, amazing view here from the porch. This is a great location. We've got parks nearby, newer schools, new libraries. The county has definitely invested a lot of money into Eastern Henrico here the last several years. Okay, as we come in, that AC feels simply amazing. It's about 95 degrees out today. Uh, we have our dining area here to the left. Directly ahead is going to be our family room. And here to the right, uh, this space is currently set up as an office, but someone could uh, make this a formal sitting room. Uh, we've got that nice purple accent wall there uh, in the distance. On the floor is going to be low maintenance LVP, uh, and it continues from the foyer uh, all the way over to the dining area. We're going to start here on this side. We're going to move into our kitchen. Our kitchen is beautifully appointed with espresso colored cabinets. We have granite countertop. GE stainless appliances. Got some under cabinet lighting there. I just love what they did here with the styling uh, in this beautiful kitchen. The refrigerator includes ice and water in the door, stainless dishwasher. And of course, here at the sink uh, is going to be double bowl. We actually have a few spaces here for some bar stools. So this would be a great place if you want to go ahead and supervise the chef of the day. You can uh, do so right there. We're of course open here to the family room, but before we go there, uh, our dinette is right here uh, in front of the window. And this window is amazing because we've got a great view here of the backyard. We're going to pop out on the deck here momentarily uh, to get a good idea of what looks, what the deck looks like back uh, there in the back. Here to the right is our pantry. We've got some great additional storage capacity there and a powder room is also here on this first level. We've got a nice, I guess that's a tan color uh, here in this powder room, a pedestal sink. And we also have a window there, so good natural light would flow into that space. Uh, directly to my left is going to be our garage. We're gonna pop down in here. When model homes are built, it is customary for them to use the garage as the sales center. And when they do that, they come in and they put in uh, recessed lights in this case. They finish this garage. Normally you would not have a garage with paint. Uh, with most uh, builders, they don't do that. Of course, the curtains are not something you would typically have, uh, but they of course wanna make the sales center look nice and uh, appealing and uh, that's what they do. Uh, we have a closet that's directly ahead there and let's go back on up and see what the rest of this first floor has in store my seller is going to sell all of the furniture uh, for the most part in this home uh, she has hired an auction company to 
uh, handle that process for her. I'll put the link to the auction company in the info section here below. So if you're interested in anything you see, you might be able to bid on it and ultimately get it. Don't call me asking about sofas and chairs because I don't do that. I sell real estate, but there is a very well-qualified auction company that's working on her behalf. You can see here in the rear, we've got a nice open backyard. The grass looks just as good back here as it does in the front. Great place to entertain. This is actually a very good floor plan for entertaining. We do have a low maintenance vinyl exterior. All right, let's go on back in and see what we have in store in this gorgeous family room. The focal point here in our family room is going to be the gas log fireplace that's right there. A great place to put a TV uh, mounted directly above the fireplace. Uh, and I love the open feel here of this first floor. The colors are just amazing. And uh, we are going to now transition upstairs. Our rear staircase is nice because a lot of people don't like to be greeted by a staircase as soon as they come in the front door. So this is a great floor plan if uh, that is your preference. Here at the top of the steps, we're gonna have bedroom number one here to the left. This is a secondary bedroom, but it is definitely big enough for adult-sized furniture with no problem. This is a kind of a rectangular shape and uh, plenty of light flows in as you can see here with this oversized window. This is probably a good six feet or so worth of window. All right, we're gonna to transition to bedroom number two, which is gonna be right here on the left. We have a, that should be a queen size bed that's currently in place. So it gives you an idea of the sizing here. Nice neutral paint in this room. And directly to our left is going to be our hallway, uh, taking us back to the fourth bedroom, actually the third bedroom, or it could be considered a bonus room. Uh, they currently have it configured as a bonus room. Uh, this could be a second primary bedroom. It's definitely large enough. You could put a king size bed here and have more than enough room for furniture and desk and uh, anything else you desire. This is going to be an oversized closet too, which is great because if you did have a situation where you wanted to use it as a, another bedroom, uh, the closet space would definitely uh, be adequate. Good ceiling fan coverage here throughout this home as well. So you can definitely move some air around if needed. To the left is gonna be our second floor laundry. This is a big plus if you don't wanna lug items up and down, laundry up and down the steps, second floor laundry is ideal. To the left is going to be our hall bath. And this is a nicely appointed bath. This one has a tile-like surround. And that ebony cabinetry that we saw downstairs at the kitchen is also continued here upstairs in this bathroom. Really nice look. The Green tags denote items that are going to be sold and just about everything in the house is going to go. So if you see anything that you like, you want to make sure you take a look at the auction when it becomes available. Okay, we are now in our primary. We have a sitting area here, which is really nice because this is a king size bed that's in place. There's plenty of space on each side of the nightstands. So you've got a lot of room in here for your furniture. Uh, once again, a ceiling fan, the carpet looks good and great natural light flows in. Our ensuite is right here. Plenty of vanity space, nice big mirror. It's gonna be linoleum on the floor. To the right is our stand-up shower. This home is available in the rent to own program. So we are proud of that. If you're not quite sure you wanna make that commitment of purchase, uh, you can look into the rent to own program and get a house that doesn't look like it's a rental. This is a, uh, a prime property here as far as condition and desirability. And just because you're renting doesn't mean it has to look like a rental. So I'm a big fan of that. Uh, this and many others are available in that program with no down payment. So if you have interest, make sure you reach out to me and let me know. I can 
provide you with the details. We are, of course, in our walk-in closet, and we've got plenty of space in here, as you can see. Good space overhead for shoes and red bottoms, and we are now going to actually go back downstairs. If you have questions about this or any other home in the market, my name is Max Williams. I'm proud to represent uh, this seller. This house is definitely going to be at the top of the pile. Uh, we're going to price it right and uh, definitely going to get some strong interest in this one. Max Williams, 804-402-7788. It can be reached on Facebook under Rich Minary Foreclosures on YouTube under my name, Max Williams Realtor. Please be sure to comment, like, and subscribe. Thanks so much for taking the tour. Y'all be safe. Have a great day.